winter can present uh, certain risks such as accidental fires and many people living particularly in informal settlements use gas heaters and open flames to keep warm. Uh, this presents the, the risk of starting a fire that uh, can spread rapidly due to flammable materials used to build shacks, for example. Uh, Organisations such as uh, Children of Fire uh, raise uh, burn awareness and uh, give prevention messages. Uh, joining us uh, in studio is the founder of uh, Children of Fire, uh, Bronwyn Jones. Bronwyn, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the programme. Thank you for giving us this platform. All right, and you've come with a special young man. Uh, is it Rian? Rian. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Is this your first time on TV? Yes. Well, I'm very excited to have you on the program, and we're going to talk to you just now. And uh, Bronwyn, I suppose it's young men like Rian that you're so passionate about projects such as this. What are you trying to do? We do many things. Um, but the, the one, the, why we're here today is we want to prevent children being injured like Rianadi. Yeah. He was burned when he was six days old when a paraffin lamp fell over next to his mattress. Right. And any open flame fuel source, whether it's, um, whether it's a candle, yeah. whether it's a paraffin stove, is yeah. immensely dangerous. Right. So we want to raise awareness now. The temperature will go down in Joburg to two degrees this weekend. Right. People are going to use more and more. Um, open flame for heating and we're asking them to be careful mm. because of many reasons um, for example in Johannesburg as far as we know there's only six working fire engines at right. the moment so capacity and yes. resources is a big problem they can't get to these fires quickly enough and sometimes they can't get there soon enough yeah, yeah. so we, we we need people to no, no basic safety information. Yeah. This coming weekend we're going to Slovo Squatter Camp mm. where members of the fire brigade told us they would no longer go because they said if a fire starts the people have stolen so much electricity from the street lights that bare wires are going across the shacks right. just, just above if you stretched your arm up you could touch them. Two people have already died from electrocution. And so we're going to talk to the community. And children don't know that these cables are live wires and are dangerous. They, d they don't. They yeah. and, and they look like washing line. Mm. And we're suggesting, even though we were told off years ago for the suggestion, that where these cables exist, sorry, Rianna yeah. is enjoying playing <laughs> with a chair, <laughs> yes. um, that where these cables exist, do something pragmatic. If yeah. people can donate old garden hoses, at least insulate. We know people shouldn't steal electricity, yeah. Yeah. But, but we're not the police. We're just saying we want the place safer. And ideally to put in solar uh, street lights so people okay. can't steal the power. Well, let me ask you, Brian, have you been telling your friends to be careful not to play with fire? Yes. Have you been teaching them? What do you tell them? I tell, I tell them to not play uh, with fire yeah. and play with chairs and, and matches as well, eh? Hey? Yes. All right, and I suppose educating young people is critically important because they don't know what they're playing with. They, they don't, and one thing that we do if we go to um, schools mm. is we get people to practice stop, drop and roll. So people catch light for all different reasons. If you fall asleep in a chair and you're smoking a cigarette, yeah. Um, if people have a bit too much to drink by the braai or, or by the imbawula. And if your cl clothes catch light, mm. you have to stop. You have yeah. to drop to the ground and you have to roll over and over to extinguish the flames. Right, right. It's right. a simple but vital message. I know you've been at this a number of years. Uh, I, I know this because I think we've uh, come across each other a few years ago. My question is, is it getting better? Is the message getting across? What's your experience? Um, I would say it's not getting met better. No. Um, people make grand announcements about rehousing people. Yeah. And I mean, City Power, they have a, an impossible job in, in Johannesburg. They, they have half a million people living in squatter camps and they yeah. are electrifying uh, 2,000 people a year. That's mm. going to take mm. 250 years. So the, I think the solution is to have yeah. enough fire enough firefighters, enough ambulances, yeah. enough equipment, and for people to understand that, you know, situations, that's a fire scene at Slovo, that's 
unfortunately your uh, viewers won't be able to see but yeah. two people are dead in that picture oh and we you know we look at ways of getting water there we've carried in water tanks water tanks have been yeah. been stolen we talk about the paraffin stoves they're still dangerous but the messages are actually simpler than than candles or stoves yeah. it's don't leave your children alone yeah um, don't let children do grown-up work I, you, if you really ha if you have no childcare ask a neighbor or tell your employer take your child yeah. to work yeah. but and people must um, stop stealing electricity they call it is in York and York don't yes. they it's as, as dangerous see, as the snake. tools of the trade there how can we use candles safer what what's the way to okay. use them if if you think you're gonna have a power cut or load shedding yeah buy a torch get your kids lots of torches they will use up the batteries yeah. but they're safer if you have to use a candle this was made by a guy called Rolf Kruzakov in industrial some years ago yeah. and he would fill it with water yeah. and when it tipped over the water would put the candle out right. it's but they don't he I don't think he makes them anymore lots yeah. of people come up with ideas you can also put a candle in a jar of sand yeah most people don't want to because it's a bit cumbersome to put it in but okay. you know it, it takes a couple of seconds something falls over you have no idea how quickly fire spreads right. and if it spreads quickly no, he's six, isn't yeah. he? And, he's, uh, and, and this is what can happen. So, uh, Rianne, um, do you help uh, Mama Bronwyn uh, teaching other children about uh, being safe around fires and not starting them? No. You don't? You, you, but but you, he's you, going does, to. On, on Sunday, we're going to Slovo Squatter Camp. Right. And we're, we're trying to ask the public for 1,000 buckets. Wow. Well, if the fire brigade can't come um, or won't come, if people can donate buckets, and we are very lucky, we've also got a donation of something called Burn Shield, right. which is to spray on small injuries. Okay. I'm not paid to advertise them, I'm simply yeah. saying it exists. All right. But but yes, we have a, a very long wish list, but most okay. it's so make South Africa safe. So fire starts, what's the first thing you do? Fall to the ground? If your clothes are burning, yeah, yeah. you fall to the ground, or if someone else is burning, you run at them with your jacket or your blanket and you roll them over and over okay. to put it out. All right. If your home is burning, if you're a child, just get out. Right. Don't wait to tr gather possessions. Yeah. Teach your children a safe way to, to get out. Don't lock yourself in so it's a burning prison. Right. You must know where the keys are when you go to sleep. Don't leave children alone. And also, smoke is just as dangerous as the fire itself. It is. Yeah. People can, in, at least in formal housing, can get smoke alarms and they, right. they will save your life. Bronwyn, thanks so much indeed uh, for uh, coming through and uh, sharing this very important story with us. And uh, I hope that the message, don't get tired spreading it, but let's hope it starts to get taken so that, uh, you know, we can protect young men like uh, Rian. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming through. Thank you.